How does an electric car work? Hi there and welcome back to Insane Curiosity. Today we are here to brief you on a very interesting and hot topic that has been raging in the automobile industry. Yes, it is about electric cars. In this video we'll see how these fancy machines actually operate, and how the Tesla Model S plate has become the talk of the industry. Let's dive in the tale of electric cars. Before we dive into the technical stuff, let's familiarize ourselves with a bit of history. Now many of us might think that electric cars are a new phenomenon, but that's where we go wrong. The first range of electric cars that were ready for practical use was made back in the 1880s fascinating isn't it? The popularity of these vehicles grew in the late 19th century and continued to the 20th century, but soon came the downfall. With a breakthrough in the technology behind the internal combustion engines and the mass production of gasoline vehicles, electric cars faced a massive decline in popularity. Now in the past few years, the trend has come back strong with the help of efficient motors, long-lasting batteries, and effective charging options. Electric vehicles are our future with a zero-emissions technology and ease of use they will soon replace all the fuel-operated automobiles types of electric cars. Before we look into the workings of an electric car, we need to know one thing with the development and technology in science several models and variants of electric cars are now available in the market. Hybrid fuel cell all-electric are some of the types and each type is built with different components and parts it is not possible to take one common example and explain the workings of an electric cars. We'll go with the Tesla Model S plate where there's an all-wheel all-electric vehicle with a tri-motor. So what are the main components generally employed in an AV like this one? Let's take a look construction of an AV and an all-electric vehicle AV there is no internal combustion engine. Instead it functions with an electric traction motor which is powered by a battery pack. This pack known as the traction battery pack acts as the energy storage system. The current is stored as DC in the pack. When the signal is issued, the DC energy is sent to the inverter which in turn diverted to the motor. There are several types of car batteries, but the most commonly used batteries in electric cars are the lithium-ion ones. The range of a battery pack can range anywhere from mid-teens to 100 kilowatt hour it depends on the model the delivery range and obviously the price. With a greater battery capacity, you can travel longer distances without stopping for a recharge. The auxiliary battery is the one that provides electricity to all the accessories of the vehicle unlike the other types of electric cars so the fuel cell ones are hybrid vehicles, the all-electric models are full-on backed up by the battery. The inverter is the component that alternates the direction of the current that is from DC to AC. This component also serves another important function it changes the AC current into DC drain regenerative braking and then uses it to recharge the battery. Another vital component of an electric car is the controller. The controller regulates and regularizes the electrical energy that reaches the motor be it either from the battery or the inverter to be more clearer. This is the part that determines the speed of the car and how it works. The controller gets input or signal from the driver's pedal does determining the car speed. Now you guys have to buckle up for a wild ride because we are going to get technical. The next component we are going to see is the electric traction motor. Generally an AC induction motor is used in electric cars, some models go with a brushed or brushless DC motor. Now without going into too much detail, we'll discuss how a general three-phase AC induction motor works the two main parts of the motor of the rotor and the stator. The stator is made up of three important units namely the stator core the frame and conducting wires from the battery electrical energy, reaches the stator and the coils inside the stator that are formed with the conducting wires act as magnets. The energy helps in the production of rotating magnetic fields which help in spinning the conducting rods. Now the spinning rotor will be the component that creates the mechanical energy that helps in propelling the vehicle the motors and electric vehicles are comparatively reliable and efficient. They did not contribute to pollution and they are compact to adding to these advantages these motors are also known to make minimal noise, while in action these motors operate in a direct drive mechanism that is the motors are directly connected to the tires. This leads to the movement of the vehicle without an intervening component. Due to this the need for transmission doesn't arise and the Tesla Model S blade there are three powerful motors present of effective driving experience. Two of these motors power each rear wheel while the other motor is present at the front axle. 
This motor will generate energy for the operation of the front right wheel. The total power output of this motor powertrain setup is 1,020 horsepower. This isn't your usual just another electric car. Rather with this model Tesla has made a breakthrough in the automobile industry. Tesla claims that the Model S plate has the lowest drag coefficient on Earth. It is a beast designed for everyday usage, but still gives you the best speed luxury and power you could ever ask for. We move on to the next component the charger and onboard charger is a device that helps in charging the battery it receives the AC electricity. From an outer source like the utility grid and converted the DC best DC electricity is stored in the battery from where it is used for the functioning of the vehicle working. Now now all the main components are covered. Let us see how an electric car works. Don't worry, we're not going into too much physics, we are going to brief over the important details and get to know the basics of how these automobiles operate smoothly. As the vehicle begins to move the power from the battery is converted from DC to AC with the help of our inverter. Now as per your pressure on the accelerator pedal the controller gets a signal the speed of your vehicle is altered by the controller because it regulates the frequency of the AC power discharging from the inverter. The regulated AC power reaches the motor aware with the help of a rotating magnetic field torque is produced this torque turns the wheel with the assistance of a cog and thus the vehicle is in motion. A mind-blowing technology when it comes to electric cars is this when your car is slowing down or when you're applying brakes the motor and your car changes into an alternator what is an alternator? We are here to tell you that to an a normal car an alternator is a component that recharges the battery of the car with the assistance of the rotation of the wheels. The battery in your regular vehicle is powered with the help of an alternator, what an electric car there is no alternator instead, the Moto X is both the motor and alternator. This is made possible by the alternating nature of the voltage. Now the function of the alternator is to produce power and send it to the battery, when you lift your foot off the accelerator at least at the stopping of the rotational magnetic field which in turn leads to the fastest spinning of the rotor. This action leads to the recharging of the battery as the motor acts as an alternator Tesla Model S plate coming back to the Tesla Model S plate which was released in June 2021. We see that the vehicle has been designed for several futuristic needs in mind. The battery pack of the vehicle forms the base part of the chassis maintaining the balance of the vehicle. The new battery pack in this model is enhanced with a carbon sleeper rotors that boosts the optimal distribution of power. Tesla claims that the plate can be charged very effectively, the battery can recharge up to an amount of power that can propel the vehicle for 300 kilometers within 15 minutes. Numerous tests have been run on a new model has come out successfully. The Vagal ensures maximum safety for its passengers with its active safety features. Do you really think they could become the future mode of transport everywhere? Do spill your thoughts and ideas in the comments section down below. A gentle reminder subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one, and also press the bell icon to get notified about our new uploads.